It certainly is a feel-good Thursday morning. We're continuing our discussion around artificial intelligence with Grant Hines right now. Look, it's no secret, AI has quickly taken over how we work from labor-intensive jobs, search engines, all the way through to arts. Now, Grant is here to explain how this is all happening. Grant, lucky to have you, my man. I, I love this whole AI thing. I mean, it's like, a, it's like a tsunami wave that has just been over the past while, just kind of coming down on us. Look, it's good and it's bad. Yeah. So there's a little bit of both. I like to think of it as the sorcerer's apprentice. So when Mickey Mouse uh, got all the brooms to sweep for him, it was fantastic until it wasn't fantastic. Yeah. And it can get out of control. So, but the more we understand it and the more that we accept it, the better it is that we can control it and, yeah. and how we can lives. integrate it. Exactly. exactly. Now, there's a bunch of great features. You've got a couple. So the first one I would like to talk about is Midjourney. A lot of people know about Midjourney. It's very similar to what we're doing in TikTok where what the software is doing is it's scraping a whole bunch of art and styles and uh, subject matter of all across the internet and then applying it to images. So you can tell Midjourney to make a self-portrait of you in the style of Van Gogh, for instance, <laughs> or whatever, and then do lots of different iterations of that, which is really interesting. There are problems with that, and a lot of artists will be upset because they've developed their style over like 50 years, exactly. and now you're just applying their style to your work. Um, Adobe have introduced it into their work, but have uh, have disclosed where they're getting their sources from, which is really interesting. Um, so it's that that has still got to feel its way out. Yeah. The second really exciting uh, AI system that's being introduced actually last week was Google Workspace. So if you've got a Workspace account with okay. Google, it can do things like summarize email threads for you. And then if a, if a client, for instance, especially in us uh, subcontractors and people that do uh, like, you know, mm. create content creator work, a client will say, hey, I need this, this, and this done. Then if you accept the terms, you can literally get the AI to rewrite a brief for that client so that you can go, I can do this, this, and this, and then you can just tweak it. So wow. instead of having to sit down for maybe two hours and think about the brief and write it out, the AI can do it. And that's just one way that Google is introducing AI uh, into Google I would Google suggest Workspace. you go and just reread it, just in case. Yes. No, no, it's, that <laughs> was is it a problem. That? Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, so you can get them to summarize an entire thread, yeah. get the gist of the thread, and then reapply it. But yes, that it could be yeah. a problem in the future where you agree to something over email exactly. and that you didn't see it previously. Yeah. Um, the, the other one is really exciting is Office. So Microsoft have included uh, in Office 365 uh, uh, something called Copilot. I think I like to think of it as the Evolved. Do you remember the, the little paperclip? That's right. It's like the, the Evolved, evolved paperclip. paperclip. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. So what you can do is you can say, this Word document that I've written out or that somebody sent to me, make that a PowerPoint presentation. And it will then convert that entire document for you automatically into a PowerPoint presentation. Wow. So it will save you a lot of time and allow you to be a little bit more productive. Um, and there are lots of different use cases where, that, where that's going to apply within these working ecosystems. And just to show you the power of it, I've got uh, a piece of software in front of me called Notion. This is, uh, this is a productivity software that I use. Um, a lot of co content creators use it. But I was thinking we can do something Thing, like we can write a brief, we can brainstorm ideas, we can produce a blog post on a, on, on a piece of co content. But I was thinking, um, why don't we, why don't we write a story? I'm gonna do this on okay. the fly. Write a story for a kids' book where Ewan <laughs> is the hero and he goes out to space. Let's see what let's see what the AI goes. There we go. So the, the AI is now. On, I haven't done anything. I've just given it some. Look at that! <laughs> I love this. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Ewan who loved science and space. He always dreamed of exploring the universe, meeting aliens, uh, different planets. Blah blah blah. My favorite line is here. They created a new spacecraft and called it Expresso, Expresso AI. AI. <laughs> I did not plan this, which can travel at the speed of light in the first corners of the universe or South Africa's uh, TV spectrum. Ewan was so excited about this new mission that he decided to apply for the public. Crew. And there's a whole story that 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 you can uh, you can do like that kids' is stories. So, so cool. let's do let's do another one. Um, let's. Uh, uh, but anyway, where where does this leave? I mean, these guys that dedicate their lives to writing stories and coming up with content and well. 
It know, should be an addition. So yeah. think about it as... An addition, okay. Yeah, like, like it's a tool set like, that can help you brainstorm. So this is a great starting point if you wanted to write a story. Yeah. Maybe like, you know, obviously that's a silly story, the Expresso uh, AI spaceship or whatever. No, I loved it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So name three things in your fridge that you might want to cook tonight. How's about that? Oh, that's nice because, I mean, a lot of people go... The, the, the common question in households is, what are we going to eat tonight? Yeah, give me a tonight? recipe. Uh, broccoli. With uh, broccoli, you uh, just got broccoli randomly chicken. in your fridge. I do. I always have broccoli in the fridge. How do you spell broccoli? Yo, two L's. Uh, two L's. One. Uh, yeah, there we go. No. Uh, okay, it'll, it'll work it out. Chicken and uh, what else do I have in there? Um, um, and uh, tomatoes. Chi to tomatoes. Okay, okay. great. Let's just let's, let's do tomatoes. Uh, so now I've asked the AI to do this. Here we go. If you've oh, got. If you've got boneless chicken breast, uh, broccoli, florets, not only is it giving me the ingredients, it's given me uh, instructions on how to cook it as well. No way. The cook for 15 minutes, the time it's going to take to cook. And this is a great, again, it's a great use of artificial intelligence that we can use in our daily lives. Help brainstorm ideas. That's if you cool. are uh, struggling with something uh, that you need to write, uh, need ideas to like, to, to, to get out yeah. of bed in the morning, to um, get a fit, I need a, you know, you know, how about uh, this? Let's do this. Give me a, give me a yeah, quick, fitness quick regime for uh, a month. Uh, include running, I guess. I, I like to run. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it does. I've never done this, so let's see. Okay. Your fitness ever incorporating running into your routine is great. Way to do so. Here's a, a one month. Wow. So for, okay. So every day of the month. So here we go. Listen, this is not bad, eh? So this is 10 minute, a warm up walk, run for five minutes, and walk for one minute. That's your entire program. So yeah, th that's your entire workout program. That if, you was, if you just needed the impetus to start something, yeah. AI is a great step to do Love that. Love it, Grant. Thank you very much for pulling through, man. This is scary and exciting at the same time, for us for sure. Now stay with us. We've got more gaming content heading your way this morning.